running from another town and I got nowhere running from the same old scars and I feel it but I need he is this your first ever interview? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually not. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, celebrity. Oh, yeah. I rocked up, I rocked up to a gig the other day mm. and the guy from local paper was like, oh, I'm just here to interview you. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I had a well, you could like rate this interview <laughs> compared oh, to that one. Yeah, I've never had anything so special. Right. Either. And, you know, you've never had an interview in like a funky place like this. No, no. <laughs> This is definitely the funkiest, oh. <laughs> by far. <laughs> so we're thrilled today to have Elise Drake in our jam in the van. <laughs> and this is your first time in here? Yes. What's your impressions? <laughs> <laughs> it's totally what I expected from you. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, um, I've seen some little clips online, so, um, so I had a, an yeah. idea, but... Um, yeah, great little funky little setup. It's like a dream doing up a little van like this. Yeah. We had a similar van that. Um, yeah, your van was so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Could have done something like this. But, um, well, if you ever want to like hire it out, we'll put a mattress in it. Yeah. And you That's right. can stay. Yes. <laughs> Good idea. breakfast. Good idea. <laughs> so we're just thrilled to have you in here, Elise. We've been waiting expectantly. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's been a while. <laughs> to, Sorry. to get you in here because as I said to you, I always sort of thought, oh, we've got to get Elise in this van because you're like the perfect accessory. <laughs> <laughs> I dress this way. <laughs> yeah. So like I just um it's just a good opportunity like for us to get to know each other a bit mm -hmm. better as well. Yeah. And um hopefully for your audiences to get yeah. to know you a bit better as well. So what do you reckon was like your influences do you think as far as music goes um growing up i listened to a lot of like mum and dad's cds and records um yeah. so i i grew up on a lot of that kind of 70s 80s a lot of australian stuff like mum yeah. loved in excess uh mum and dad both loved fleetwood mac credence all of that kind of mm. stuff and then ACDC <laughs> um, <laughs> and I found like some Led Zeppelin records and um, and you know some Sabbath records and, and things as well and yeah so that I when I heard them I was like oh that's that's pretty cool but uh, Stevie Nicks is probably like probably more so as I've gotten older I've appreciated mm -hmm. her a lot more and she, I'd say she's a big influence but when I was younger like teenage years I'd say like you know, nineties alternative rock was yeah. my was my thing. Like I was a big silver chair fan. Still am like Daniel Johns is one of my greatest influences. Mm. Um and I kinda grew up in that I I wasn't so so much grunge for me, but that alternative indie kind of rock. Um and then later on a bit more kind of country and um getting into a lot more country and Americana I, I would kind mm. of say. Um, but yeah, like some pretty strong front women that I loved, like Chrissy Amphlett, obviously Stevie Nicks, um, Shirley Manson from Garbage and you know, Gwen Stefani and Oda, yeah. all, you know, just those really powerful kind of female mm -hmm. front women. Yep. So yeah, that was, that was a big thing for me. Yeah. So how did you get into music? So what sort of like inspired you to start playing music? Um, I... I don't really know, just from a really, mm. like from as long as I can remember, I wanted to play guitar yeah. and uh, I hounded mum and dad for a guitar and they bought me one when I was 10 mm. and I started lessons and I was just so into guitar and I loved playing blues and and, and rock and then I kind of wanted to play more rock yeah. <laughs> and uh, and then I just kind of, I, I stopped doing lessons and then I, um, but I kind of taught myself from then onwards and then um, but I, yeah, it was just something that was in me, you mm. know, I don't, don't really know why. My, my nan loved to sing, um, and my sister actually was a great singer. I more started singing to back her up. Oh, gosh, <laughs> that was okay. the whole thing. I'd play guitar and back her up and yeah. uh, sing harmonies. Oh. So I learned to sing harmonies through singing together with my sister, basically. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was probably nan who, you know, 
really all together, the family to sing and play together. So that was really pretty great. We love your originals you. <laughs> that we've heard yep. before. Um, what what's sort of like your process for writing an original? <laughs> Didn't say there's much of a process. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the hell like the <laughs> gods will smile on you and mm. bring the the best songs that I've written have just come kind of all in once, mm. uh, all at once, you know. Um, but that doesn't always happen. You got to work it some harder than others. Mm. But um, I usually, you know, come up with the chords first, and then I just sing melodies and just sing absolute nonsense, you know. I mean, like just absolute not like not even words sometimes yeah. just whatever comes to my head and just to get a melody and mm -hmm. and then might try and work out what I'm trying to say and what I'm actually trying to write about it'll come out yeah eventually so it's yeah just trying to get that music first and then I find melodies and lyrics the easiest part for me mm -hmm. but um trying to sometimes just get the chords of the song yeah. is the challenge I don't know. yeah Oh, good. I'm also interested in this one. I wanted to ask you, what's the best advice you've ever been given by another musician? I mean, that's a piece of advice that I think about all the time is I was told from pretty, like, years ago when I was starting to do mm. gigs, is just say yes to everything and work it out later. Just okay. say yes and work it out, work out later. Which is why you're here in the van. <laughs> yeah, because like, I'm someone who stresses over the details and goes, oh, mm. but I'm not ready, I can't, how am I going to do that? How, you know, the logistics or whatever it is, mm. and I can't do that yet, I'm not ready or whatever, and it's just just say yes, just do it, mm -hmm. and you'll work it out. But um, not necessarily saying you should say yes to everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a bit of yeah. a fine line. But, but also, too, I just... You know, the quickest way to, to learn is, is on the stage. And I, I used to be some, I've been a perfectionist, so learning to let that go and allow yourself to make mistakes on stage and just laugh it off yeah, is a yeah. big thing as well. That's great advice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's mm -hmm. the hard bit over. <laughs> oh, this might be the next hard bit. Oh, good. Right. We're going to do a quick fire response question. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I put it thinking quickly. <laughs> so it's slow. Are you ready? Oh god. Yep. <laughs> First concert or gig that you went to? John Farnham, for sure. Okay. Um have you ever written a song for someone? I tried to write co write some <laughs> things with yeah, but not not ever a song for someone else. I'm not that brave. <laughs> not yet, not yet anyway. No. <laughs> All right. What would be your going to karaoke song? Maybe I Believe in a Thing Called Love by The Darkness. Okay. I like that song. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit of a whole I know. <laughs> and the video clip's so good. <laughs> All right. Finish a sentence for me. Uh, yeah. The way to my heart is. Uh, faster. Ah. <laughs> uh, Good songwriting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. The <laughs> test is over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one more. Yeah. What's your hidden talent? My hidden talent? Mm. Oh, gosh. I don't know that I have any. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe all talent. your talents are out on show. Oh, There's gosh. There's nothing hidden. I don't know about that. Hidden talents. <laughs> I can't think of it, but I might have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> so this is your first of my interviews, yep. but I'm hoping to do more. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to leave me with a question that I'm going to ask the next person that I interview, not knowing who it's going to be because I've got no idea? What would you like me to ask the next interviewer? You could take one record on, on a deserted island. Ooh. What would that, What would that be? And it, that you wouldn't get sick of. <laughs> oh, that is a really good question. See, when you're on the spot, you come up with the goods. Yeah. Uh, I tried. I tried. Well, thank you. 
Thank you. It's been lovely to <laughs> do this little. Oh, you're great. You're great at this. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it might be my hidden talent. I was going to say, definitely <laughs> your hidden talent. Yeah. Well, thank Not you. Not hidden well. anymore. No. Well, we're going to yeah. look forward to now doing some recordings with you. So yep. great to have you here, thank Elise, you. and hope Thanks you enjoy the experience. Yeah. And feel at home and comfy. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, you. Thank you. From another town, and I got nowhere. Running from the same old scars and I feel it